Hi, this is Pat Murphy Racy. I'm a Sony artisan of imagery. Pretty excited to talk to you today about the new 11 millimeter f1.8 lens designed for APS-C cameras. I really love it. I mean, the 10 to 20 comes close because it's got the zoom, but it's f4. And when you're that wide, sometimes backgrounds can be really, really complicated. And so for me, I, I really just like this lens. It's fast, uh, it lets in tons of light, and uh, there's some other reasons too. So let's get into it. Uh, first of all, it's a 104 degree field of view. Uh, the aperture range goes from f1.8 to f16. This lens has internal focus, so if you put a filter on it of any kind, it's not gonna turn as you, uh, you know, focus, which is really handy. And it's, of course, designed with an APS-C image circle in mind. So the image projection that it does is, is designed for APS-C. It does have dual linear AIF motors, which is incredible. Uh, it's pretty obvious to me that Sony has just figured this out. I think every lens they make from now on is going to have this dual linear AF motor, which is incredibly quick. I mean, you could use this lens next to bobsled at the Olympics and it's going to focus accurately as they come by or luge. I mean, it's just so quick. Uh, I've seen this in auto racing already with some of the other lenses that have this in, in particular, the 24, one, four G master. So this dual linear AF motor thing is, is it's not playing around. And even though this is the least expensive lens that they came out with in those three, it's got dual linear AF motors. Incredible. The full frame equivalent is 16.5 millimeter. It's got the motors in it. The minimum focus distance is pretty remarkable, 4.7 inches. Um, it does have a rounded diaphragm, which kind of affects your bokeh and what things look like. It's got seven blades, which is kind of normal for a tiny, tiny super wide like this. It's also dust and moisture resistant, which again is unusual. This is not a G or a G Master lens, and yet Sony saw fit to put um, that ceiling on the rear, rear mount, for instance, which, you know, as a sports guy, I really appreciate that. Um, this would be the lightest possible thing I could bring into a stadium when I'm shooting a football game and go up, climb up, and shoot a wide, a super wide of the whole stadium with my A1. Um, you know, I've got plenty of megapixels to play with. Starting at 50, I'd end up with a 21 megapixel, you know, image, which is fine. It has something called repeatable manual focus, which is really significant for video shooters. This means that you can. Um, hit a mark and you can tape the lens for where focus needs to land and over and over and over again it will give you consistent focus in that spot which is really cool for filmmakers. It has a very reasonable 55 millimeter filter size. It's really a normal lens size filter so the filters are really, really inexpensive um, and the entire lens weighs just 6.4 ounces which is you know, pretty remarkable. That's less than half a pound. Um, so here's the kind of the, the, the total. Um, the lens costs $548, and to my way of thinking, I think it's about the best deal there is um, because you get not just super wide for very little money, but you get super fast as well. And you get a fast AF motor. You just get everything. You could use this as a macro lens to some degree. I mean, it's just amazing. It's a lot of stuff all stuffed into one little tiny compact uh, lens. I'm now in my wife Ellie's scrapbook room. There's no light on, just window light with blinds that are closed. So one of the big advantages of this lens, I think, is the speed of it and how wide it is. Because I've got the camera in active steady shot, uh, it's really about an 18 millimeter lens instead of 16.5 because it has a 1.1 crop factor. And I think that makes this lens perfect for vlogging. And now I've got the light on, it's an LED daylight bulb, so it should match what's going on outside. And you can see I'm a little dark in my face, but as I turn this way, it starts getting better. And finally now I've got a decent exposure, not too bad. And I probably should have the big flower behind me, because that would be cool. Um, also, this grip is not just a grip, it also is a tripod. So I can just set it down like so, and I can find kind of a sweet spot to be in and do a stand up or whatever I need to do. Now, to me, I'm a little hot on my face right now, but I can fix that later because I'm shooting an HLG or Hyperlog Gamma, and it's a huge wide swath of exposure uh, that the camera's capturing. It's more of a pro feature from the pro video cameras, and I'm, I can't believe they put it in the ZV-E10. 
So thank you, Zoni. I appreciate that. If I move a little bit, the camera definitely, the active uh, steady shot really helps a lot, smooths things out substantially, which I'm very glad about. And even if I walk, if I'm careful with my heel and toe, I can actually get pretty decent results, although I just walked out of the light. And here again, the air is going, it's rolling. It's like in the 90s here in Tennessee, so it's pretty warm out there. Um, but if I just lift off there, I can kind of turn. So I'm going to walk a little bit and show you my new motorcycle. This is a bike that I'm pretty excited about. I've been a BMW guy for years and years and years. And uh, this is a Yamaha Super Tenere um, that is going to be headed out to Colorado um, in just a few weeks. And these are just my tools, my lawnmower, whatever. Just, just an excuse to kind of log a lot of color back there. Um, just to kind of show you what, what it's like with this grip and this whole setup. So I hope this has helped you. Vlogging is a real big deal. A lot of people started vlogging in, during the pandemic. And um, I'm really excited because I'm going to start vlogging on a regular basis from the motorcycle. And I'm, my primary vlogging kit is going to be what I'm using right now. So I'll be taking this on the road next week, actually. I'll be, I'll be flying out to Colorado Springs to ride another motorcycle called uh, Suzuki V-Strom. And uh, I will take you with me and post some videos from the road. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Pat Murphy Racy, Sony Artisan of Imagery. Mm -hmm.